Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, so the global just did an update, massive update, mind you, and plenty of things were added and one of it including the Shadow Palace or Shadow Hall, right, that you can farm specifically. So right now in global, you can see the Shadow Palace is divided into three, up to a Shadow Palace tree, alright, so obviously, you ideally, you'll be getting these quantum coordinates every single day, alright, so during the reset time, and you can only do it uh, limited times per day so i'm not sure how difficult it is i'm gonna need to try it later on but this video we're gonna be talking about more about the gears that you obtain now if you're not familiar the idea here is you want to farm for the shadow fragment the higher you go the more you'll be able to get for example uh, you can see this one is 19 for the shadow palace 2 shadow palace 1 gives you 15 now shadow palace 3 gives you 24 now, uh, a lot of players right now, uh, I think in global server, a lot of you guys are struggling to get plenty of this thing, which is the advanced gear material. Now, I think once the Shadow Palace is here, once you constantly farm this every single day, uh, this is not going to be a big issue. And hopefully, with that being said, uh, you know, you will stop farming Gutter Red. I think some of you guys are still farming Gutter Red. Now, let's talk about the Shadow Palace uh, shop. Alright, what do we have right here specifically? Which is your priority? Ideally, as a free-to-play, I would highly recommend getting these things. If you are free to play, these things are quite rare. Uh, it's super limited. The, there's only so many places you can get the set binary. Now the tuning binary, you can farm this. Now this one you can farm. Obviously, I wouldn't buy this as your priority. So this one, I would say buy the set binary. Tuning binary, I wouldn't worry about this. This should be your last or the least priority. And then buy the 75% one. This is going to give you a lot of discount, right? And then if you can, you should be buying the 50% uh, one afterwards. This one should be your priority first, followed by the 50% one, and then you should buy the ultra precise T6 Spectral Universal Mode. Now, uh, early on, you're gonna get a lot of blue gears. Getting the blue gears is fine, keep them, and I will be telling you guys why uh, Shadow Hall gears are great per se, but let's uh, show you guys the chart uh, right here, if you guys are not familiar, the list of equipments that you can obtain. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, you will be able to craft one of these six of these uh, set options. Now these are all random. You can't really choose them per se. So it's a little bit of uh, randomness into it. Just like when you craft any other gears, like a Britra raid gears or any sort of gears, right? You can't really choose you want uh, any set option. So Spectral Bullet is going to give you attack and hit percent, right? Spectral Smite is going to give you attack and crit damage percent. A Spectral Blaze will be giving you attack and attack speed. Spectral Gear will give you attack and evasion. Spectral Spirit uh, will give you attack and skill haste. And you can see the last but not least Spectral Chain will give you attack and crit. Now out of this one, which one is the best one, which is the worst one, right? So um, it's, it's going to depend on the characters per se, but the worst one out of all of this is going to be the Spectral Gear uh, by far. Alright, so because the Spectral Gear, it gives attack and evasion. Now what's wrong with attack and evasion? Ideally, this is still an upgrade from attack set. You can see all of these gears that you have right here, right? Uh, it's still going to be better than what you get in an attack set. So, which is why I think I've made a gear guide before and I told you guys to not upgrade your attack set. Please do not upgrade your attack set. Uh, leave your attack set as it is because a lot of attack sets... Now, for example, this one on Thaddeus Morgan, this is an attack set. You can see uh, SC Alex Hands, right? Crit damage and uh, crit plus 43. Uh, ideally, all of these attack sets that you have is going to be replaced by Shadow Hall gears. All right, so all the one of these one of these gears so any of this is better because you can see it's already attack plus hit even if this one the spectral gear which i think is the worst one attack and evasion is still more than this this only gives attack you, you see how this is an upgrade because this is also two piece right so keep that in mind now why is spectral gear the worst one because evasion is ideally an evasive or defensive stat in this game so if you go for uh spectral gears you ideally want to be offensive and then this one gives you a little bit of offense and defense at the same time, so it's a little bit weird. Uh, the only character that I can think of, you know, maybe some soldiers that's like much more defensive, that you want to be on the front line, some sort of strikers. But in most cases, I would say uh, Spectral Gear is going to be the worst one, but they are still usable if you get good substats, alright? I wouldn't say that they are like useless that every time you get Spectral Gear you should throw them away, no. Uh, I feel like you should still keep some because I think there's a few characters that can utilize from it. Now, all of these gears, most of it are two-piece except for Spectral Smite and Spectral Blaze. So hopefully you guys can notice the difference. Spectral Smite and Spectral Blaze, the attack percent is slightly uh, less actually. It's more here 
you can see it's more because uh, it's attack 16%, this one's attack 10%, but you need to know that this is one out, this one you need to four pits, this one need only two pits. So if you if you combine full pits of spectral bullet, two and two, you actually get attack 20%, whereas this one gives attack 16%. So you can see why I'm saying it's less, because it's actually less, right? Because you need four pits. But the idea here is you get the bonus, either the crit damage percent or the attack speed percent. Now, Spectral Smite is not something that you use that often as well, to be honest. I feel like Spectral Smite and Spectral, Spectral Blaze is something that you want to get a lot of. Now, this is going to be so good for a lot of characters. A lot of characters can benefit from Spectral Blaze. I would say Spectral Blaze, Spectral Bullet, Spectral Spirit, and Spectral Chain. These are the ones that should be your top priority. Spectral Smite and Gear, unfortunately, they are not used as much. Sure, there's some certain characters. I will try to update my gear cheat sheet. I haven't been updating it. I've been waiting for the um, for these updates, right? So hopefully once everything is here, I can easily update it and include what's the best character that can benefit from what as well. Just be patient for the time being. Give me a couple of, you know, I might need like a few weeks because next few days I'll still be busy. Okay, so let's talk about the spectral gears. What makes them so good ideally, right? So keep in mind for counters, most counters, you still want to go for skill haze, all right? Spectral gear, that, they are good, but they are not like that good. They won't replace a lot of the counter gears. Where they are really, really good is where they start replacing some of the soldier gears. Just any of the spectral gear, this is a mech one, but uh, hopefully you guys get the idea. So you have each of these, keep in mind, uh, each of these have for mech, soldier, and for counters, right? So the reason why they are so good is if you go to the second option, this one right here, you can see it's much easier to tune these gears and get the anti-ground damage that ideally you want. Uh, accessory for any of the SC gear, for example, there's actually more, you can get anti-ground, of course, for sure, but it's harder to tune to anti-ground because there's more options. So you can see there's actually 19 options of substats. Whereas, there's only 12 options here, and it's much easier to get the anti-ground damage that you want. So, hopefully, ideally, this is where the anti-ground damage is going to be very, um, you know, prevalent. And a lot of characters that benefits from the anti-ground damage, or not skill haze as per much, will be able to benefit from the spectral gears. Now, let me give you guys a few examples, alright? What are the common usage for the spectral gears in general? Now, let's give you guys some example, all right? So here is my Choi Jihoon. You can see, uh, it's so easy to tune these gears. Um, this one, you can get anti-defender and anti-ground damage. And ideally, this is very good in a lot of uh, soldiers, all right? I mean, rifleman, uh, peacekeeper, any soldiers that can benefit to try to melt like tanky defenders. You want to give them anti-defender, anti-ground damage. Uh, easily, you can get substats like this, no problem. If you're trying to tune a SC gear or something else, it's going to be way harder. And let me try and tune this and show you guys. This is a weapon for Spectral Blaze, right? You can see how easy it is to tune this. It's a very budget free to play friendly gears. If you guys are free to play, consider getting a bunch of these Spectral gears. Look at the options right here. Anti-ground damage is right here. There's only like what, five options. It's so easy to tune compared to uh, any other regular weapon, which has like 10 options, some even 12 options depending. So let's try and get the anti-ground damage, which is what we want. So this is Chris damage. So you, you can see, right? I just did three times, boom. And then just precision that to max. So this is the stats that you want to go for, ideally. You can see the substats right here. Notice how much anti-ground damage that is. That is 44.8%. Easily, uh, this is the most anti-ground damage you can get. And it's very good. For a lot of characters, this is what you want to and the Spectral Gears allow you to do that. And I do think that the Spectral Gears is a little bit broken at the beginning. Later on, you're gonna realize um, a lot of the other gears like Maze Gears, they allow the Maze Gears to be upgraded to T7. A lot of other gears which are T6, they can be upgraded to T7, but the Spectral Gears can't. I believe that's the developer's way in trying to balance the game because Spectral Gears are really broken. Even Compared to a lot of T7 gears out there, I feel like they are still really, really strong and I don't think they deserve or they need uh, the T7 upgrade as much as the other gears. So if you're new to the game for the time being, you will struggle a little bit in trying to get good uh, spectral gears. Now let me grab this and craft and show you guys. 
All right. So early on, you will have a lot of these blue ones. If you get with good substat like anti ground damage, this one anti defender and attack speed. Uh, this one is all right. But if you get something with anti ground damage, consider keeping them. They are actually not bad. For example, this one is damage resistance. This is for the armor. But this one, I would keep this, for example, uh, especially for new accounts in global, you guys might not have all the, you know, the, the all the yellow gears yet, so you won't have enough of this for sure. But ideally, you want to keep all the blue gears. Do not tune them though, I wouldn't recommend tuning the blue gears. So I wouldn't use any golden binaries for any of these gears, because spectral gears are farmable. Eventually, you're gonna have a lot. Alright, if you play the game in the long run, like I mentioned, eventually this is not something that is such an issue. Now, let's talk about more examples of characters that will be able to benefit from these gears, alright? So hopefully, I'll be able to give you guys a little bit of example. Now, uh, Xiaolin actually can benefit from uh, Spectral Gears. She's actually one of the better candidates to be able to benefit from her for it, but I think most players already have either crit damage or attack speed on her, with, along with her exclusive gear, right? But if your exclusive gear is actually an attack set, for example, you can combo a two piece of attack set and then you can do two piece any of the spectral gears uh, preferably you can't go for spectral blaze unfortunately because that one needs four piece so you can either go for spectral bullet or spectral gear spectral chain doesn't make sense because she will always crit right so spectral bullet her hit is really quite high spectral gear maybe makes sense to increase her evasion but her evasion is super low anyway so it's kind of both options is kind of cringe, but I actually think if you have a lot of anti-ground damage on her, she works pretty well. Carl Wong needs skill haste. So obviously, characters like Carl Wong, uh, you know, characters like Gayun, these are characters that you want skill haste per se. Um, talking about mostly for characters that are more damage oriented, uh, Rosaria is a very good example. All right, let me show you guys my Rosaria gears. A lot of players use attack on her or attack speed. But if you have any of the spectral gears, again, it's so easy to tune. You can see anti-defender, anti-ground, anti-defender, and skill haste, which is also a good option for the accessory, uh, sorry, for the armor, because the armor, you cannot get an offensive option. There's no anti-ground. There's only anti-ground damage rest, but she's an air unit, so uh, giving her skill haste is probably the best if you want to go full offense, and the rest just either go uh, anti-defender. This one is not tuned, I think. So ideally you want to go anti-defender, anti-ground since Rosara is a ranger, right? So she's one of the better example as well. Jo Xiang, very good example as well. She can benefit from she's one of the few that can benefit from the uh the, the, the one with evasion. If you want to, you can go the spectral gear specifically. Awaken Yumina. Yes. A lot of people have been uh, asking me for A Mina, what's the best option for her? Uh if you have been using attack, it's time to upgrade her. She actually benefits very well from the Spectral Blaze. Spectral Blaze, she needs the attack and attack speed. Uh, also, Ifrit as well, upcoming. Uh, if you are still waiting to pull for this guy, uh, Ifrit, his best gears are going to be the Spectral Blaze as well. So Spectral Blaze is actually one of the top tier uh, in terms of all of this because it gives a little bit of attack speed, like a decent balance of attack and attack speed. So hopefully this is going to, you know, stack up the anti-ground. So yeah, anything with anti-ground damage and anti-defender is something that you can consider keeping. This is going to be very, very useful in PvP. You want to try to stack. Uh, the objective is to try to get 44.8% anti-ground damage, or at least 40% and above. Now, in terms of the yellow versus purple one, right here you can see the difference. Uh, this is a perfect example to show you guys. Uh, is it worth keeping the purple ones? Or the, like I said, the blue ones... It's worth keeping for the time being. Obviously, eventually you want to upgrade them to the purple ones and the yellow ones, but you can see the difference is quite minimal. So the yellow ones, the SSR, you can see the highest percentage is 15.4%, right? Whereas for the purple one, it's 14%. So the difference is like what? 1.4%? I don't think, you know, that 1.4% is going to make that huge of a difference. So if you get something that's purple, consider keeping it as well. So you can see this is already max upgraded. Uh, same applies for this, right? But of course, eventually you want to try to get the SSR one. It does have more percentage overall. 1.4% can be a small difference for one gear, for sure. This is just one gear, right? But if all four is purple, then it's like 1.5% times four. So you can see the difference is like, 4 point something or 5 point something percent. So therefore, it's 
actually higher than you think uh, in the long run, right? So yeah, uh, ideally have a set of goals of the characters. Uh, hopefully, you know, plan things out accordingly. I'll try to upgrade my uh, dock along the way. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Make sure you guys start farming as far as you can in the Shadow Hall. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, give this video a like. And yeah, have a nice day. Goodbye.